The sight of courts covered in luscious green grass and fans watching as they savor strawberries and cream can only mean one thing. Wimbledon is here. The 2021 Wimbledon Championships are a Grand Slam tennis tournament that's currently taking place at the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club in Wimbledon, London, United Kingdom. Fans have been made to wait for the tournament after it was canceled last year due to the coronavirus pandemic, the only Grand Slam to be canceled. The 2021 tournament runs from Monday, June 28th to Sunday, July 11th. The Wimbledon Championships are the oldest and most prestigious of the four tennis Grand Slam tournaments. The other three are the Australian, French, and US Opens. As such, Wimbledon is awash in long-lasting traditions and features, such as the habit of calling the men's and women's competitions gentlemen's and ladies, respectively. The Royal Box, which has been reserved for members of the English nobility since 1922, and the iconic, and still advertisement-free, Centre Court. But arguably the most notable aspect of the event is the all-white dress code for all participants. Why does the tournament specify that its players dress predominantly in white or almost entirely in white? The short answer is because it's in the dress code. But it's in the dress code for a reason. Namely, when the code was written in the genteel 1880s, sweat stains were considered so improper and unsightly that it was decided that white should be worn to minimize their visibility, as sweat is more apparent on colorful clothing. From that period on, tennis whites were considered the standard attire for well-heeled tennis players, which described everyone who played in the first Wimbledon tournaments. Once that rule was prescribed in the dress code, the tradition-loving Wimbledon was loath to remove it. The rules get even more specific from there. Shoes, soles, and laces must all be white, as must the backs of shirts and undergarments. Only a thin, single strip of color is allowed on necklines, sleeves, trousers and skirts, wristbands, and headwear, no bigger than 10 millimeters. Quite simply, the club is just a stickler for tradition. Recently issued guidelines for clothing include statements such as, white does not include off-white or cream, that colored trim can be no wider than one centimeter, and that undergarments that either are or can be visible during play, including due to perspiration, are not allowed. That's right, even players' underwear has to be white. There are seemingly no exceptions to the code of the club, with some of the biggest names in the game castigated for their use of color. In 2017, during a rain delay in her first round match, five-time singles champion Venus Williams changed her pink bra when it was deemed in violation of the tournament's rules. In 2002, Anna Kornikova was forced to replace her black shorts with white ones. Without white ones of her own, she borrowed a pair of baggy men's shorts from her coach before cutting off the logo so as not to breach her sponsorship deal with the rival brand. In 2013's tournament, seven-time Wimbledon champ Roger Federer was told his orange-soled shoes were too much and he would need to switch them for the next match. My personal opinion, I think it's too strict, Federer said in a press conference. Players have also claimed Wimbledon's argument of upholding tradition doesn't hold water. In 2014, Martina Navratilova, who has won the tournament nine times, was told the blue stripes on her skirt crossed the line. She questioned how that was possible, since she's worn the same type of outfits at Wimbledon throughout her long and storied career. Some of the pieces are even held by the Wimbledon Museum. I think they've gone too far, she told the New York Times. The following refers to all clothing, including tracksuits and sweaters, worn on the championship courts both for practice and for matches. Competitors must be dressed in suitable tennis attire that is almost entirely white, and this applies from the point at which the player enters the court surround. White does not include off-white or cream. There should be no solid mass or panel of coloring. A single trim of color around the neckline and around the cuff of the sleeves is acceptable, but must be no wider than one centimeter or 10 millimeters. Color contained within patterns will be measured as if it is a solid mass of color and should be within the one centimeter, 10 millimeter guide. Logos formed by variations of material or patterns are not acceptable. The back of a shirt, dress, tracksuit, top, or sweater must be completely white. Shorts, skirts, and tracksuit bottoms must be completely white except for a single trim of color down the outside seam no wider than one centimeter or 10 millimeters. 
caps, including the underbill, headbands, bandanas, wristbands, then socks must be completely white, except for a single trim of color no wider than one centimeter, or 10 millimeters. Shoes must be almost entirely white. Shoes and laces must be completely white. Any undergarments that either are or can be visible during play, including due to perspiration, must also be completely white. Medical supports and equipment should be white if possible, but may be colored if absolutely necessary. Traditions and the rules do bend and change over time. There was a time predominantly white, and you could have a little bit of color. Some of our ladies played during those days, but now it's as strict Red headband. as ever. The white dress code isn't the only rule in Wimbledon. Even though there is no dress code for Wimbledon spectators, dressing smartly is encouraged, especially if frequenting center court or court number one. After all, if the players make an effort with their outfits within the strict confines of the all-white color code mind, spectators should want to follow suit. What you are forbidden to wear is ambush marketing clothing, a jacket with your company logo emblazoned on the back, for instance. Political slogans are also forbidden. Panama hats, however, are very much a thing. They will provide shade from what is likely to be quite a punishing sun. They'll make sure they don't block the person's view from behind. If you find yourself with an invitation to the royal box, you do have to dress smartly. Look to the Duchess of Cambridge for style inspiration. No hats though, ladies and gents. Make sure you wear a jacket and tie to find yourself as Lewis Hamilton once did, denied entry to a rather important match. Nowadays, many tennis clubs adopted the all-white clothing policies in place, mostly for tradition's sake. Whether seen as restricting, classy, or traditional, tennis whites as seen on the grassy courts of Wimbledon and the red clay of private country clubs are steeped in a revealing history. The dress code of the social distancing sport of choice hasn't been without resistance over the years, but it continues to define the pastime's elite status. Andre, we'll see you at Wimbledon, not in this color. Do you have something in white planned for us? The Wimbledon's going to allow me to wear it, bud. Is that right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Are you going to be wearing all white at the tournament? No, uh, we have to wait to find that one out. It was time. What would Agassi wear? The whole world waited, but the gods of Wimbledon frowned on the spectacle. Yes, it rained. Finally, almost an hour later, the skies cleared. It was the moment of truth. A warm-up suit. Come on, what a rip-off, a warm-up suit. Well, when the official peeling was complete, there stood Agassi with not a patch of color, Mr. Clean. 